So you were wondering if you should buy some kind of a generator or battery or something. You didn't know which one to get and you weren't sure why you needed to get one. Maybe you live in the city and you have plenty of electricity and you don't have to worry about that. Well, we live in the city and our electricity is turned off. We have two hours until they're saying it's going to be fixed and it's supposed to be 117 today. Welcome to American Roots. <laughs> So our electricity ran out today. Our electricity got shut off today. Um, I don't know if there was a broken cable. I don't know what happened, but it went off at about eight o'clock this morning. They said originally that it was supposed to go back on at about 10. And then we got another notification that there was an underground cable that needed to be repaired. And it would then be like three o'clock. Well, like I said, it's supposed to be 117 today. So we had, um, planned to do this in a different way, but I think it's very fitting that we show you what we've purchased. So we're getting ready to take a trip to, um, Kansas to see our land. And we bought, um, a generator. We bought two different generators. We've bought a gas powered generator, both propane and regular gasoline, but we also bought an electric generator. So since we're sitting here with no electricity, um, it can be charged through solar or direct plug-in, so I thought it was very handy. So this is the Energizer Pro Source Solar Bundle. So it allows us to have two hours of fast AC recharging. Let's open it up and see what it does, because right now it could have come with a charge and we could use a fan. Our idea behind this was to have as many ways to power something in an emergency as possible. That is the 200 watt folding solar panel made in Vietnam. It's not crazy heavy. Um, I could pick it up by myself, but I wouldn't want to carry it a long distance. So you have a two 12 watt USBs, a hundred watt um, USC. You have a 12 volt car inverter charger. Um, this is the display unit. And then you have three AC UPS outlets. So it looks like it's pretty simple. Looks like you have the solar input and the AC input. So that's about that. I like the simplicity of it um, for me just getting in here and getting it started. So let's see what the instructions say. Before use, fully charge the power source before using it and storing it. So great, it won't work in this application. Don't wait to open it until it's an emergency, right? Oh gosh, um, it's already getting hot in here. So we have to charge it before we can even use it. The electricity came back on about five minutes ago. So now I'm gonna make sure I do take advantage and I plug this thing in so that it's fully charged. The time to wait to get yourself prepared is not in an emergency. And if this isn't case in point, I don't know what is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it charging. Plug it in there. And I could have put it onto the solar, but again, I didn't really know what I was doing. So now let me plug this into the wall. So let's read the instructions. The idea behind this was that we would be able to get something that we could operate without the boys or in, in a serious emergency or something. So charging the power source from a solar panel, eight hours to full with the 200 watt panel connected. Connect your panel to the back of your power source. Okay, that seems easy enough. 
the LCD screen will show the solar icon, the input power, and the battery charge level. Press the display button to turn off this screen. Connecting an additional solar panel. So it's less than full four hours to full with two panels connected. So it comes in this really neat case, portable uh, carrying handle. It looks like there's like a zipper pouch on the front and that has your cables. Oh, and they're directly connected. So this is the actual solar panel. So you just take the connectors out. It gives you a set of instructions. This tells you it's the solar panel. These are the legs for the solar panel, it looks like. So you literally would just plug that in to the back and then it would be ready to charge through solar. And this shows you how to set it up. Let's check on it. It's been plugged in for maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. It's already at 83%. We're gonna let it go totally full. It said to let it charge totally full, so. so you open it up, it unfolds. It's like a, how many, one, two, that's four. nice. It's very heavy. We're going to try to brew a pot of coffee because that's the real test. Okay, let's see. It says it's brewing. Is there maybe more than one way to skin the cat? We'll see. Lights, action, camera. She working. Yep, there's bubbles. It went from having 47 hours to 55 minutes. This was worth what we paid for it if, if it'll just brew coffee. <laughs> Stop. So that has brewed a full pot of coffee. You can see the fuel gauge is to F. Which stands for full. And this says it has 88%, so that only took, what, 22%? No, 18%. So the coffee's done. Now we have 15 hours on it. If I unplug, can I unplug the coffee uh -huh. pot? So see when I unplug it, it goes back up to 49 hours, 47 hours. So that's good. Now we are on our land and we've been using the energizer and I need to charge it. It's about 58%. So we set up the solar panels and the cord is actually quite long. Um, it goes, we have the battery in the back of the truck and I'll take you over here and show you. It says that in seven minutes and seven hours, 45 minutes, it's pulling 72 watts right now. That has gone up. It was 65 when we first started. Um, and it will charge it to full in seven hours. So we're going to leave it charging, see what it does. So you set them up. The cord is inside the bag. This up to the battery. Very self-explanatory. Red to red, black to black. And I just heard it turn on. So it's awful sunny out now, which is obviously you can see it's caused it to raise the watts that it's pulling in says now it's going to take three hours to completely charge it. Um, we started out at, I think, 58%, and now we have 66. We had to unplug it, wrap it up, and go into town for a little bit, 
and now we're back and the sun is just shining. There's no cloud cover. I'm getting a really good charge right now. So we are gonna let this charge up so that we have power tonight. It's a great way for us to get acquainted with getting off grid right now. Um, we don't know a whole lot about solar and we're learning. And I can tell you the one thing I learned just today is thinking, oh, it's still sunny out, it's hot even though there was a cloud cover and it wasn't a thick cloud cover, but it was still a cloud cover and it caused it to decrease the amount of Watts that it was pulling in and it didn't charge it as fast. So now that I have it totally sunny in a really good spot, it's kicking. So good, good lesson to learn on a mini scale. So when I am on the larger scale of living off grid, I'll be able to see what that looks like a little bit better. Until next time, we pray you're blessed, and we'll see you soon.